Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mansi. So in today's video, I'm going to be recreating Moni Roy's makeup and hairstyle for the music video Mono Bina from the movie Gold. First of all, congratulations to Moni for this beautiful opportunity and you're killing it girl. Uh, I really love Moni's hairstyle and makeup from this video so I decided to recreate this look. It is so beautiful yet wearable. I really love how it has turned out. Guys, if you want to know how I recreated this look, so please keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. The most important step for all the flawless makeup is prepping your skin. So I'm using the Pack Moisture Lotion because I was feeling really, really dry. I'm using it on my skin and I'm rubbing it very nicely. This will ensure that my makeup will stay for a lot longer. Next for primer, I'm using the NYX Angel Wheel Primer and I'm again using it on my T-zone as usual. This primer is very very good for oily skin. I love it for the summers. Since I have a lot of dark circles and some previous acne marks, I'm using a color corrector. This is the Illegal Pro Conceal in the shade Orange and I'm putting it on my dark spots like my under eyes and around my mouth and some acne marks. This will ensure that all the bluish and purplish skin tones will not be through after applying foundation. And I'm blending it using a blending brush. Don't worry guys and if you don't have a lot of dark circles then you can just skip this step. For foundation I am using the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. This is a very very good foundation. It's super super matte. Again very very high in coverage and very very long lasting. And I am using the Pack Beauty Blender to blend the foundation very nicely. You can see how good coverage this is giving to my skin. Now that the foundation is done, I'm using the Lakme Absolute Wine Intense Concealer. I've reviewed this on my channel guys. I really really love this concealer and I'm using it under my eyes to brighten. If you're wondering that why am I using such a light shade, that's because I really like to brighten uh, with my concealers. So I'm using it on my chin, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose and around my jawline. And again, I'm blending it with the Pack Beauty Blender. Now that the concealer is all blended, I will set it using the Pack Translucent Powder. And I really like to use a beauty sponge which is wet and I blend and push the powder into my skin so that it gives a very airbrush look. I really really love this trick guys and this makes my makeup very very long lasting even in the most humid and most summery and hot climate. I'm using it all over where I've applied concealer. And I'm using a big fluffy brush and I'm just dusting off the powder on my face because it's really really hot. Since Mooney's eyebrows are really straight and very nicely filled, so for that look I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm using my brow brush to fill my brows. This really ensures to give a very fuller effect in your brows. Once I'm happy, I'm just clearing and cleaning the eyebrows using some concealer and using a flat brush like this next i'm just blending out the concealer with the concealer brush so that it's really really neat and crisp moving on to the face guys i'm using the master contour by maybelline and i'm using the brown shade to chisel my cheekbones like moni moni has really high cheekbones so i'm creating the same effect I'm contouring a little bit more than I usually do. I'm contouring my jawline as well as you can see here. This will ensure that you have an effect that you don't have any double chin. Also my forehead guys. For my nose contour I always like to use a slimmer brush because I have a really really big nose. Now 
Now for the blush, I'm using the Savannah Colors palette and I'm using those two shades and I'm really going ham with the blush guys because in the video she has used a lot of blush. But anyways, I like using blush a lot. I think it's the best part of the makeup. Now for cleaning and getting a crisp look, I'm just baking with the same powder under my eyes, on the forehead, on my jawline. This will give a very neat look after I will dust it off. Moni has a really good wing going on and she has really really big eyes so for creating that depth I'm using some brown eye shadow using my Morphe 39A palette. First I'm using that shade to just give little dimension as my transition. Next I'm using a darker brown shade and I'm really concentrating to give a bigger effect into my eyes. Since I have hooded eyes, this will ensure that it gives effect that I have really larger eyes. Before moving on to the lower lash line, I will just dust off the bakage which was sitting onto my skin and you can see that it has cleaned up any mess I have created. And I really love doing this trip guys. I'm using a small shader brush and I'm just using that same brown eyeshadow into my lower lash line. Now for the wing, I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, one of my favorite liners and I'm creating a wing. I have created an in-depth video on all sort of liners so please check it out. I'm also elongating the liner on the inner corner of my eyes as you can see here. Now I'm curling my eyelashes for the mascara next. For the mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise and I'm coating my upper and bottom lashes. I will be using some false lashes because in the video she has clearly used false lashes. To give an effect of larger eyes like Moni, I'm using a nude liner into my waterline. For the lips, I'm using the Nakme 9 to 5 Matte Sticks in a mauve shade and I felt like this is really too dark for what she is wearing. So I'm toning it down using the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose and this was a perfect shade guys. Now for setting my makeup, I'm using the Pack Micro Finishing Makeup Fixer. This is a really good makeup fixer guys. After that, I'm using the Sofix palette by Makeup Revolution and I'm just mixing those four highlighting shades. And as you can see, the highlight game is real, guys. I really, really love this highlighter. And I highlight the usual planes on my face like my nose, my cheekbones, my chin. Now for the hair, I've just center parted and last night I braided my hair when it was wet to create this grungy effect and I've not combed my hair I'm just back combing my hair and I'm just twisting it and pinning it back since I have really really short hair I will just twist the hair inwards Secure all the hair with some pins and just pull out some hair for that bigger hair look. On the back, I've just twisted my hair and I've just put some pins uh, so that it creates a look of a bun. I really don't have a lot of hair so I'm just working with what I have and I'm using this fake rose and I'm using a liquid lipstick to create that bindi. That's it for the makeup look guys. I hope you like this video as much as I do. I really really loved how it has turned out. If you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want me to create any other look, please list it in the comment section below. You can also follow me on my social media guys. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video guys. I love you so much. Bye bye.